what's going on? Happy Tuesday. Joe here, 690 ADV. Hopefully you're having a pretty good week so week. Again, weather's changing, getting super fantastic, especially here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It's getting riding season, man. So time to start thinking about, A, maybe you're going to get a dual sport. Maybe you already got one. But maybe you're thinking about some things that need to go on that bike and you just picked one up. Well, I'll tell you what, I've got a couple of items um, that you really, in my personal opinion, are the first items that really need to go on a dual sport bike. I got about three of them that are always on my hit list on any new bike that I get, especially um, depending on what kind of bike it is. Uh, but like this Honda CRF250L, even my KTM, there are just certain things that I like to put on that bike first. And uh, one thing that is always a must, and it makes a huge difference whenever you're riding, especially when you're off-road and if you need to do some standing up and stuff, is getting some really nice foot pegs. Foot pegs really are awesome. I think that's really one of the first items you should put on your bike um, because your boot can get planted on there. It's nice. It's comfy. It keeps it to where you don't get a whole lot of fatigue on the back end, like in your calf muscle and stuff like that when you're riding. It's really nice. Not only that, most of them are kind of wide, so that way your boot doesn't slide off when you're off-road and when it's raining. Next thing that is a must. You got to have it, and most dual sport bikes come with them when you buy them, but they're garbage, <laughs> and that is the bash or the skid plate. And I totally recommend if you're trying to cut that weight down, get an aluminum one. I have an aluminum one on both my KTM and I have it on the uh, CRF. And that skid plate right there is nothing but fantastic. And I mean, all the way around, I mean, you just can protect it from everything. Rocks, debris, man, whatever. And it really does a good job on protecting that engine. I think everybody should get a good bash plate because most of them come with plastic ones and they are garbage. I'm not going to lie to you. They just don't last very long. They usually end up cracking. And that's the last thing you want to skimp on is your engine protection. That makes absolutely no sense. And the last thing that I think maybe you should do it. And like I said, agree or disagree with me down you know, in the, uh, uh, in the comments. Uh, but I really just think these are the perfect things to get. Uh, if you're just getting into dual sport and it's like the first things to get for your bike, they're inexpensive and they make a huge difference on your bike. The other hand guards, hand guards are awesome. They're not expensive. They're really pretty easy to put on. And, uh, yeah, they're kind of fun cause you get to tinker with your bike with all these parts. So think about maybe getting these three items, foot pegs, bash plate, hand guards. They're relatively inexpensive. Between all three of those, you could probably pick them up for about 200 bucks, maybe just a hair more than that. Um, and, uh, and they do a world of good for your bike and also make them look cool too. Hey, don't forget, hit that subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you like what you hear and if you have any questions, 690ADV at gmail.com. And don't forget about our Amazon channel. Go down there and uh, pick up some gear, man. Help us out. <laughs> Just remember, Amazon.com slash shop slash 690 ADV. Have a great day. We appreciate you. 690 out.